Hello, my dear lovely students. Very good evening, and I welcome you all to EduTap. I welcome you to your marathon series. So, guys, this is a super marathon series that has been started by us, Team EduTap, for the NABARD Grade Eight Twenty Twenty One examination. So, guys, this is a very very important series. It's a chance for you to boost up your preparation, and if you have done really well. this is a golden chance to revise if you haven't done well if you feel that you need to revise more then of course this is the answer right so today's lecture is lecture number 5 under this particular series of current affairs we are also running a series at 3 pm so 3 and then 7 pm we meet you guys at 3 pm content reasoning are being taken care by vidhi sir yesterday was your lecture with veena ma'am for current affairs ard ka today i have the same continuation lecture ठीक है जी तो दिस इज द स्केड्यूल दैट वी आर फॉलोइंग वी हैव बीन कंसिस्टेंटली आर टीम इज वर्किंग रियली हार्ड टू प्रोवाइड यू द बेस्ट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट द बेस्ट ऑफ रिविजन सीरीज टूडे इज लेक्चर इज अबाउट ए आर डी करंट अफेयर्स इफ यू हैवेंट सीन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स आई वुड स्ट्रॉगली रिकमेंड यू टू सी द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स यू कैन गो टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो टू फाइंड अदर लेक्चर्स राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट I hope I am audible to you. We can start. अच्छा guys, I get this query about the PDF of the lecture. That ma'am, where do we get the PDFs? So for that, you'll have to join our Telegram channel. We post the PDF uh, the next day. So by tomorrow, you'll get the PDF of this lecture on our Telegram channel. How can you join it? Go to the description of this video. There, the link has been given. You just have to join that. ठीक है? One one last thing. Uh, we are offering forty percent off just. One more day to go for this offer. If you want to avail, use it. The coupon code NABARD40. There is no space in NABARD and 40. Okay, it is valid till tomorrow. So I think we all are ready. So let's start. Today is the topic is May. May to August 2021 ARD current affairs. Right, all important aspects would be touched upon. My very first question. I'll give you a few seconds to answer, but uh, I won't be giving you much time, guys. You have to understand that. ठीक है जी? चलो. I have got the wishes of all my lovely students. PDF मिल जाएगा. Do not worry. कोई query हो, तो ask me after the lecture. We have to be in a super josh mode to cover all these questions. ठीक है? I have around ninety questions for you. चलो जी. Recently, a consignment with the non-basmati rice has been officially flagged off from the Paradip International Cargo Terminal, Odisha, to which of the following nations? So, इससे your static part is also being covered. Where is a uh, Paradip terminal or Paradip port? So, it is in Odisha. ठीक है. And uh, I hope that you have this understanding. Whenever you read current affairs, you have to pinpoint the static part also. Static GA भी तो है ना three four marks का static GA out of twenty marks GA. So that would be catered here. Coming back to the question, first time because this has been done non basmati rice consignment. Ah, uh, ठीक है. तो three Vietnam is the answer. That's absolutely right. Option C is the right answer. This is the first time in the history of Paradip Port that non basmati rice was exported. ठीक है. Anything that has happened for the first time, you have to know. Because this is related to agri commodity that has been exported, we are covering it here, right? This question can be asked in your GA or even ESI when we talk about phase one. You have to understand that why? Because this export that has been done will help your economy, and of course, generally also you have to be aware about such things. Very nice. World Tuna Day is celebrated annually on. हाँ जी, when is World Tuna Day celebrated? May second is the right answer. This first time the World Tuna Day was celebrated in the year 2017. I want to tell you, World Tuna Day is not about making people aware about eating tuna. This is a fish. People are not like uh, encouraged to eat tuna. Rather, to make people aware that how because of this meat of tuna, people like it. It is being exported, especially in the Japanese and Korean countries. So we should avoid that. This is the target. ठीक है? Very nice, very nice, guys. You have to continuously answer. Spread the session. We will be able to take the session uh, if you uh, spread this. Because as many as students join, it will be more interactive, है ना? Please spread the word. Chalo ji. PM KVY 3.8 scheme and which suggests the training of 8 lakh candidates over a scheme period of 2021 with an outlay of rupees this. तो प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट योजना इट हैज बीन आस्ड मेनी टाइम्स इन योर एग्जामिनेशन राइट तो इट इज 
the outlay has been increased. The amount is 948.90 crore. Very nice, very nice, lovely. Three ka answer is D, that is option four. So, uh, Chetan is right, Biswanath, Aarti, Krish, Anshu, Shreya, Anjan, Ekta. Okay, nice. I can see students are have uh, da are done with their EPFO examination and are here now. Very nice to see that uh, zeal. Dash has successfully reared fish in its farm ponds to demonstrate the scope for income augmentation for farmers. So, which station or institute has reared fa uh, fish in its farm ponds? Tobacco Research Station, Cotton Research Station, Central Potato Research Institute, Marine Fisheries Research Institute, or Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture. Kya rega answer? CRS, Cotton Research Station. So, it is an affiliate. To Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, the material prepared by Tamil Nadu Agricultural University is very important for your subject, okay, the agriculture. Um, so, this university, keep in mind that Cotton Research Station has reared fish in its farm pond for the very first time. Glad to see the correct answers. Dr. YSR Horticultural University has conducted excellent research with regard of controlling the invasive rugose spiraling Fruit fly, dash, fruit fly, white fly, mealybug, aphid or black fly. Haji, important this is. Uh, to control the invasive rugose spiraling, white fly, this has been conducted for the first time. Uh, this is uh, P. astur as it is called as or Pseudomelada astur is the predator which was used to control the white fly. Right, so th that is why it's important. Very important you have to understand. The question can be in any sense that... Uh, which predator, which species the predator has been researched recently or the predator P. astur has been recently uh, researched to control which, which invasive species this or which university has come up with such a conduct of research that can also be asked. So one question, three aspects. I always tell you do not just stick to the answer, understand it so that you can answer all these three aspects asked in the question. You have to be ready for anything now out of this. Anything can be asked in the paper. Consignment of which of the following crops grown in Himalayas is being exported to Denmark. So this is the first time that the crop from Himalaya has been exported to Denmark. The crop is rice, wheat, millet, sorghum or maize. Millet is the right answer. This has been exported for the very first time to Denmark. My next question is, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare has formulated a special Kharif strategy for implementing in the implementation in the coming Kharif 2021 season with a detailed plan for both area expansion and productivity enhancement of DASH. So guys, here the emphasis you have to give on special Kharif strategy. Kharif and Rabi crops are important. I hope you know that because there the basic questions are there usually about the let's say MSP that has been declared for the Kharif season. The MSP for the Rabi season recently declared that will be covered by Veena ma'am in the upcoming lectures. Okay. So we have kept a separate lecture dedicated to all those estimates. So that is important for you, right? Even a basic question like identify the Kharif crops, a mix of crops is given and you have to identify which one is it, right? So Kharif special strategy has been uh, prepared by whom? Very easy, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. The detailed plan is for what purpose now? Area expansion and productivity enhancement. Both. This can be a question that this has been prepared for. Productivity enhancement or area expansion or both. So, both are there. And the crops that are covered under it are Tur, Moong or Urad. All uh, three are the right answers here. All of the above. All these uh, three are being covered under the Kharif strategy. Very nice. Very nice. Which of the following mango varieties with GI tags will be exported to South Korea from Andhra Pradesh? So, Andhra Pradesh will be exporting option A and option 2. Banganapalli and Suvarna Rekha or Suvarna Rekha, these two will be exported to South Korea. Now, because these have GI tags, the geographical indication tags, which specify that these products are authentic and they are related to one particular place. That place has the authenticity and the uh, product originated there. So, these uh, two with the GI tags will be exported to South Korea. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान आर लाइकली टू गेट एडिशनल टाइम टू टॉक एंड सेटल द इश्यू ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिव राइट्स वी आर जी आई टैग टू मार्केट डैश इन द ई यू हाँ जी ना दिस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसर्न बिकॉज इंडिया वेंट इंडिया वॉन्टेड एक्चुअली द Exclusive rights of this particular crop. What do you think it could be? Basmati rice, sugar, raw cotton, tea, or spices. Spices. But Pakistan came in and said that because our region is same, the crops where they uh, where these uh, are grown, that is basmati rice are grown. So India cannot have this uh, special exclusive right for the GI tag. So it was decided that India and Pakistan will solve their matter mutually. without international intervention so they have been given time so that they can sit and talk so in the eu now this settlement and talks are going on which we do not think we are going to resolve easily because india and pakistan have not been able to the history says have not been able to resolve the conflicts very smoothly like majorly in major issues they haven't been able to so this will again probably be a long pending issue so no one will end up getting the basmati rice so i hope you understand this theek hai ji ye ga ka bhi very very important question ban jata hai you have to understand that right according to land use statistics data 2017 18 recently released recently which of the following states have a maximum amount of available geographical area under agriculture and so do the farmers in these states have one of the highest land holdings in the country you know this is the recent one so i have put it here itself this was released just i think last month so land use statistics data of 2017 18 has been released and this says that farmers of these states have the highest land holdings what do you think would be the answer up ap ap assam haryana punjab sikkim hp come on guys haryana punjab i am getting the answers yes haryana punjab is the right answer this is easy to remember haryana punjab because uh, generally it is said that the green revolution states specifically haryana and punjab are more prosperous as compared to the nearby states uh, they are nearby northern states so highest land holdings would be there and i think you know this that uh, haryana punjab people are uh, considered for like you must have heard punjabi songs like so people are interested in going abroad right so because they have hand hold uh, not hand holding sorry land holding so in songs also if you have heard they say that they'll sell their land and then uh, they'll with that money they'll go to some other country so they have highest land holding that is why right they are not doing farming for only subsistence thing so that's why it's easy to remember right you have to understand that why is it so it's not necessary that you just read and remember the fact there can be a logic behind it i hope that is helpful to you is it is it yes many students have joined in very nice very nice bilkul bilkul right right very nice chaliye नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है जी पुकाली राइस इज अ फेमस सॉल्ट वाटर रेजिस्टेंट वैरायटी ऑफ विच स्टेट केरला आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना महाराष्ट्र और छत्तीसगढ़ सो पुकाली राइस हैज बीन इन न्यूज एंड इट इज अ सॉल्ट वाटर रेजिस्टेंट वैरायटी ऑफ केरला फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ केरला ठीक है जी कल्टिवेशन ऑफ जी आई टैग पोकाली राइस वॉज हिट ड्यू टू द कोविड पैंडमिक वाई देर वर टू रीजन दैट फील्ड कुड नॉट बी ड्रेन्ड ऑफ थरोली विद वॉटर सेकेंडली देर वॉज लॉकडाउन गोइंग ऑन सो डिमांड एक्चुअली फेल सो दैट्स वाई दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट दिस राइस डिमांड हैज फॉलन एंड बिकॉज इट इज जी आई टैग अगेन सो वी नीड टू नो द स्टेट ऑल्सो राइट बिल्कुल सही है इट्स एब्सोल्यूटली राइट Next question: Which of the following states has launched Navas Initiative for developing self-help technology technologies that benefit the small and marginal farmers? So, small and marginal farmers uh, are very important part. You have to know of the land holdings. There has been a question that which category of farmers, uh, like the hectare of land, the small farmers hold or marginal farmers hold. I hope you have covered that. If not, you have to do it right. um coming back to the question navas initiative for developing self help technologies by the state of madhya pradesh happy to see correct answers 
जयसी एकता नितेश विश्वनाथ अमित श्री कृष्णा सुमित संतोष एवरी वन नोज दिस आंसर ग्रेट सो मध्य प्रदेश इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है नाउ नवास आई टेल यू व्हाट इज इट नवास स्टैंड फॉर नवाचार और अनुसंधान से समृद्धि इट्स अ प्योर हिंदी लैंग्वेज विथ tells that now achar new method you have to follow research you have to do and samruddhi is prosperity then it will come right through research and new methods bring prosperity innovation and research for prosperity in rural areas that is why we are covering it right the literal meaning of navas is a joy of life so don't be surprised if you see this question in the paper it might be there that what is the meaning of navas or why has it been launched or which area is it catering to so under this initiative major thrust is on developing self help technologies for whom small and marginal farmers theek hai my dear friends chaliye headquarter of national horticulture board uh, is located in not headquartered i'm sorry it it had to be is located in so where is it located national horticulture board it's a very important board and it is usually in news for some reason or the other we'll probably cover a question also pertaining to it uh, but it's headquarter this is a kind of static thing but because whenever static or uh, related part is in news we cover it gurugram Gurugram is in Haryana. Gurugram has uh, is also known as Dash City of India. Can you tell me which city of India Gurugram is called as? Gurugram is in Haryana. Dash City. Don't give me the answer. Cyber City. It's very easy. Something new. Recently, it got the headquarter of this international organization, and that is why its nickname was this. I'll be really happy agar, if I get the right answer. Millennial City, ठीक है, Cyber City, ठीक है, but one city, one nickname, which is which it has got due to being the headquarter of a very important alliance. Oh wow, great! ठीक है जी, so many students are answering. Arthi is right, Vidya is right. त्वरित वेरी नाइस सतीश संतोष अविरल वेरी नाइस सोलर सिटी गाइज इट इज कॉल्ड एज नाउ साइबर सिटी इज ओके वी ऑल नो दैट इट्स इजी अ मिलेनल सिटी इट इज ऑल्सो बट सोलर सिटी ऑफ इंडिया वाई इट इज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस विच इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ ब्रेन चाइल्ड ऑफ इंडिया प्लस फ्रांस ठीक है दैट्स वाई यू हैव टू नो so their national horticulture board is located national horticulture board was set up in the year 1984 and it was set up on the recommendations of the committee group on perishable agricultural commodities and this committee was headed by our favorite ms swami nathan ji he headed this committee so msp i hope you have seen the 5 minute series on this msp i have taken i have tried to explain it quickly so there also ms swami nathan ji comes into picture ठीक है, चलिए रिसेंटली द एफ्रीकन स्वाइन फीवर हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन टेन डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ विच इंडियन स्टेट तो स्वाइन फीवर इज रिलेटेड टू पिग्स राइट सो दिस एफ्रीकन स्वाइन फीवर हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश असम वेस्ट बंगाल मणिपुर नागालैंड वट वुड बी द आंसर सेकेंड दैट इज ऑप्शन टू असैम that's absolutely right so swine fever from africa came and impacted uh, so many districts of assam during rabi marketing season 21 22 a total of rupees 56059.54 crores dbt has been given to farmers account during the current rabi marketing season under the mission so what is the name of the mission under which uh, farmers have been given direct benefit that means money came into their accounts directly in the rabi season come on what would be the answer one nation one msp one dbt it's very easy find out try to find out the keywords in the paper if you have time if you manage your time well you will be able to answer okay so one nation one msp one dbt under this mission the uh, amount was transferred directly to, to the accounts of farmer प्रधानमंत्री जन औषधि योजना हैज बीन इम्प्लीमेंटेड बाय विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट 
very easy this is bureau of pharma psus of india this was in news that's why a question has been put this is an important yojana pradhan mantri jan aushadhi yojana a bureau of pharma psus in india are implementing it jan aushadhi aushadhi is medicine herb basically uh, which cures a body a person so jan aushadhi yojana by pharmaceutical psus very nice very nice guys which of the following state government has decided decided to expand the scope of rajiv gandhi kisan nyay yojana from the upcoming kharif season 21 22 to rajiv gandhi kisan nyay yojana is related to which state this is the basic question please understand that do not get confused that they have asked i have not read about the expansion of the scope you do not need that you just need to know which state uh, has rolled this scheme i am seeing that a few students are coming up with queries in between please my dear lovely friends understand i won't be able to cater to your queries during the lecture after the lecture i'll be here you can be with me in the session and at the end you can ask your queries i'll be here at this point of time only and only answers i am expecting from you chatisgarh bilkul sahi hai ji chatisgarh is the right answer now it is a uh, congress ruled state that is why rajiv gandhi kisan nyay yojana is still being run there theek hai to anyhow remember this it's an important scheme central government has slashed subsidy on sugar exports from rupees 6 6000 per ton to rupees dash 1000 per ton with immediate effect that means in the month of may from the month of may in may announced that from may itself sugar exports are going to be slash uh, the subsidy for sugar export is going to be slashed this is again very important this was done because the demand it was realized that fell and a lot of people are producing sugar that means a lot of countries are exporting it so 4000 per ton to discourage the export as per the dash world food prices fell in june 2021 for the first time in 12 months pushed lower by declines in the vegetable oil cereals and dairy products so this is additional information i sincerely recommend you when you read the question in the paper just try to segregate that this is the part which is asked i should not be confused like here in this question this part it is additional just to make question lengthy no, nothing is being informed here about the answer or it is not even required the only question is that world food prices are released by whom recently so in 12 months because it fell for the first time that's why it's important and answer is fao fao is headquartered in rome italy you know it because italian food everyone loves so fao there mostly not everyone mostly people like italian food union minister for agriculture and farmers welfare inaugurated the world's second largest refurbished state of the art national gene bank at which place han ji so so many takeaways from here world's second largest national gene bank has been located has been inaugurated by which ministry so gene bank you might answer science and technology hoga no it's agriculture and farmers welfare theek hai answer here is pusa new delhi national bureau of plant genetic resources nbpgr any of my friend in the session right now can you answer where is nbagr located nbpgr is in pusa new delhi right where is nbagr come on p n b p g r n b a g r p g r i have told you a g r i am looking for the answer please don't check now and tell okay just let me know quickly if you know the answer i'll be happy very happy to see karnal that's right great no no it's not hyderabad and national bureau of animal genetic resources is in karnal haryana राइट अच्छा इधर था ही सॉरी आई डिड नॉट रीड इट यू मस्ट हैव रेड आई थिंक सो इट्स हियर ओके आई डिड नॉट आई फॉर्गॉट दैट इट इज इन दी ऑप्शन देन आई वुड नॉट हैव आज दिस सो प्लीज रिमेंबर एन बी ए जी आर करनाल हरियाणा एन बी पी जी आर पूसा आयकर रिसर्च कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर ईस्टर्न रीजन इज इन पटना रिमेंबर दिस देन नेशनल अकेडमी ऑफ एग्री एग्री रिसर्च एंड मैनेजमेंट इज इन हैदराबाद ओके जी मूविंग फॉरवर्ड 
with which of the following institutions central university of kerala has signed an mou for the promotion of aquaculture in north kerala so for the promotion of aquaculture the mou with central institute of brackish water aquaculture has been signed by the central university of kerala so recently uh, an mou has been signed by which state government university uh, which uh, university uh, with central institute of brackish water aquaculture this can be also a question right or central university of kerala has signed an mou with this institute for what purpose the purpose is the promotion of aquaculture right all the aspects that i tell that you have to know about a question are here right i hope you guys are finding the session useful are the questions helpful are you liking the questions you'll have to be with me patiently i have near 100 questions for you theek hai let me know if you want to increase my speed if you want me to increase my speed and uh, i'm hoping that you guys are enjoying the session thank you very nice thank you तो इंडिया हैज एक्सपोर्टेड जी आई सर्टिफाइड द हानुमु गोलवाद सपोटा टू यू के दिस जी आई सर्टिफिकेशन इज हेल्ड बाय विच स्टेट एफ पी ओ सो महाराष्ट्र इज द राइट आंसर फार्मर प्रोड्यूस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एपीडा हैज ऑर्गेनाइज अ वर्चुअल बायर सेलर मीट फॉर बोस्टिंग विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एग्रीकल्चरल और हॉर्टिकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस एक्सपोर्ट्स टू साउथ कोरिया वी जस्ट नाउ कवर्ड आई थिंक इन द प्रिवियस सेक्शन दैट एम मैंगोज वुड बी देर नहीं दैट वॉज समथिंग एल्स है ना साउथ कोरिया वाला ओके सो एपीडा हैज ऑर्गेनाइज दिस वर्चुअल बायर सेलर मीट फॉर बूस्टिंग द मैंगो प्रोड्यूस एक्सपोर्ट्स टू साउथ कोरिया Central government has hiked the subsidy on dye ammonium phosphate fertilizer by 140 percent to dash kg. So dye ammonium phosphate (DAP) stands for, and the subsidy is now rupees 1200 per bag. Union Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Minister has launched the project of setting up a honey testing laboratory at which of the following institutions? So Agriculture and Farmers Welfare want to set up. Uh, honey testing laboratory at pusa again iye ra right so see pusa also has this hotel management institute so that's why uh, the people who are working there are practicing there need uh, agricultural uh, agricultural products and honey as well as your uh, the earlier one we covered that uh, nb agr is there so nahi nb pgr so plant resources agri research and honey these three things are required by the students at pusa if you remember it these three things which of the following producers was exported from muzaffarpur bihar to uk by sira enterprises so the answer here is lychee so lychee has been exported from bihar to uk you have to know which product has been exported where Which of the following institutes researchers studied the optical properties of natural indigo dye extracted from plant leaves that may protect human eyes from harmful laser radiation? Now this is not a very important question. Why? Because directly it is not somewhere helping our agriculture, but still it is related to agri produce and also the health. So we'll cover Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, Kensari School and College, Bangalore. So Bangalore schools have done this research on natural indigo dye. With which of the following nations India has signed a three-year work program for development in agriculture cooperation? Very easy. I think you all know the answer. India has been signing MOUs. India has been working from past so many years with Israel in agriculture. A new apple variety, HRMN ninety nine, has been developed. Which of the following statements is are, are correct regarding this variety? So first of all, HRMN ninety nine is a variety of which fruit or vegetable? It's apple. Okay. Do not forget this. Now. Uh, let's find out what is true apple variety does not require chilling hours for flowering fruit and fruit setting for flowering and fruit setting 
एवरेज यील्ड ऑफ न्यू लीड वाला अपने वैरायटी इज वन क्विंटल पर प्लांट फ्रॉम सेवन ईयर ओल्ड प्लांट द वैरायटी इज टॉलरेंट टू स्केबीज डिजीज स्केप डिजीज ऑल ऑफ द अबव और नन ऑफ द अबव एवरी वन नोज द आंसर ऑल ऑफ द अबव इज द राइट आंसर ऑल दीज थ्री आर ट्रू रिगार्डिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर एप्पल वेराइटी यू हैव टू नो दिस ओके डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ लेटर ऑन एंड देन रिवाइज आराम से बैठ के ओके जी एज पर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड इंडस्ट्री टू कंसाइनमेंट ऑफ अ पेटेंटेड विलेज राइस हैव बीन एक्सपोर्टेड टू विच नेशन अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव बीन एक्सपोर्टेड वी हैव कवर्ड लीचीज मैंगोज टू साउथ कोरिया देन लीचीज वेर ऑल्सो ट्रांसपोर्टेड कोऑपरेशन विद इसराइल so village rice have been transported to ghana yemen tanzania 1 and 2 2 and 3 so answer here is 1 and 2 option 4 village rice is actually patented by the startup udya agro farm so it's a startup for agri tech basically agriculture farm and technology this is a startup and they have patented village rice International Potato Center celebrated its 50th anniversary on 1st June 2021. Now we are moving on to June questions. Where is the headquarter of IPC located? International Potato Center's headquarter is in Jerusalem, New Delhi, Washington, Tainan or Lima? Lima, Peru is the right answer. Potato Center International is located in Peru. and recently its 50th anniversary has been celebrated so this becomes a very important question i hope you understand that first things that are happening a very large span 50th anniversary big developments or achievements taking place all those are important on which of the following days world b day is celebrated annually annually world b day is celebrated on may 20th right uh except the usa all other countries celebrated usa celebrates its national honey bee day in the month of august so third saturday is the day on which they celebrate national bee day otherwise it's world bee day for may 20th which of the following state governments department of tourism has won world agri tourism awards 2021 in the government initiative category for the outstanding contribution to the growth of agri tourism in the state haan ji to outstanding contribution of agri tourism has been done by the state of maharashtra and the state government department of tourism has won the award of world agri tourism right Which of the following is India's first indigenous temperature data logger for the cold chain management developed by IIT Roopar recently? Again, India's first temperature data logger. This is very important in the cold chain management and the storage chain. You have to understand India needs to do well. India is not doing fairly well in the food processing industry, food storage. Uh, the uh, storage of uh, the transportation and storage of the agri produce all that is not well but we are putting in efforts and first temperature data logger has been developed indigenously ambitag alpha tag ambitemp de delta tag or omega temp what is the answer ambitag please remember it is important it is developed under technology innovation hub avad and its startup scratch net Nest. So, Avad is the innovation hub that has developed Ambi Tag. With reference to recently introduced world's first nano urea liquid for farmers, which of the following statement is or are correct? Hanchi. It is developed by Nano Biotechnology Center, Kalol. It's a nutrient to provide nitrogen to plants as an alternative to conventional urea. So rather than providing conventional urea, you provide this nano urea liquid. This is what the statement is saying. It is developed to replace the conventional urea, and it can curtail the requirement of the same by at least fifty percent. So first part of this statement seems true because it is related to B, and this part uh, you can take a guess. Okay, now one. A, if you do not know, it will be difficult for you to answer. But B seems true, right? And even C seems true. So if B and C are correct, you can take a risk on this question, and you can mark A, B, and C if you are not aware. But anyhow, you must know. You now know the answer. The question can be that first nano urea liquid has been developed by which center? That also you must know. I am putting a star here. Okay. What does this nano urea liquid will do? 
दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू नो हाउ मच रिक्वायरमेंट विल बी कर्टेल्ड और विल फॉल दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू नो राइट सेंटर गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च अ सेंट्रल सेक्टर हॉर्टिकल्चर क्लस्टर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम टू अचीव वॉट टू ग्रो एंड डेवलप आइडेंटिफाइड हॉर्टिकल्चर क्लस्टर्स टू मेक दम ग्लोबली कॉम्पिटेटिव टू इम्प्रूव द एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ टारगेट क्रॉप्स बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू क्रिएट क्लस्टर स्पेसिफिक ब्रांड्स टू एनहैंस द कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस ऑफ क्लस्टर क्रॉप्स ऑल ऑफ दी अबावर वन एंड थ्री आर द आंसर टू इज नॉट द आंसर दिस इज अगैन ईजी हॉर्टिकल्चर क्लस्टर डेवलपमेंट ऑल द थिंग्स गिवेन हियर आर जेनरिक दे आर नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट राइट I hope now after reading it you will not mark it wrong and it was also good for your revision if you had already covered it right chalo ji which of the following institutions has developed seed production technology for breeding red snapper fish so which uh, institute is it central institute of brackish water aquaculture theek hai the same which has signed the mou with kerala central university for the development of aquaculture when is the world milk day observed globally to world milk day hai to globally hi observe hoga right when is it observed june 1st theme of this year's world uh, milk day was sustainability in the dairy sector who is considered as the father of white revolution in india can you answer that father of white revolution in india Anyone? First June is World Milk Day. Akhil has answered. I'll not tell that. What is the answer? Shubham is also answering. Very nice. Shreya, Nitesh, uh, Vasu, or Vasu, Tarun, Arpit. Gopi Krishna, that's right. Varghese Kurian is the father of uh, White Revolution, Operation Flood. It came right due to this. So theme of this year's World Milk Day. Do not get confused. It's sustainability in the dairy sector. Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying shared information about AHIDF. What is AHIDF? Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund. ठीक है जी AHIDF. With reference to this, which of the following statements is or are correct? हाँ जी. This fund AHIDF is set up with an outlay of fifteen thousand crore. FPOs, MSMEs, Section 8 companies, private companies, entrepreneurs, all are eligible for this fund. One of the key objectives is to promote exports of the dairy and meat sector, or all of the above. What do you think, guys? Option three will definitely be there. One is also expected from you that you must know. If you know that the one and three are right, you will automatically choose option four. Okay? So this way you have to use the knowledge that you already have in marking the answers. Please do not panic in the examination. You what happens is what I have seen in paper that students start reading line by line, word by word, and then they'll say, "Oh, I haven't read about option two. I cannot mark it." Please make sure that uh, everything. If you feel that you have not read word by word, but use your common sense, your knowledge there. That can you take a risk? Take calculated risk there. Such things you have to do. Trust me. So many toppers have told us that this that this is not necessary that you know the exact thing. Like let's say here you knew option one and three are right. You cannot say that I will not mark four because I'm not sure about option two. Go for it. If you feel that you can take this risk, if you need to do that question, okay. Which of the following will be the nodal organization for the implementation of India Australia Grains Partnership from India? हाँ जी, very important. India Australia Grains Partnership is gonna be there, and the nodal organization from India will be APDA, NAFED, NABARD, NIAM, or NIAEM. Anyone up for it? Anyone would like to answer this? N I A M is the right answer, right? So uh, this is the nodal organization for this grains partnership. The Union Minister of State for Agriculture has virtually launched a dedicated window, green gold collection for bamboo products. The green gold connections uh, collections is an initiative of 
guys there can be a question in the paper that a uh, green gold collection is for which products it's bamboo understand this will this can be asked in the paper and it's an initiative of gem portal and bamboo mission so bamboo mission has to be there if we are talking about bamboo products and gem government e marketplace is very important government is using this online portal to sell its products or to buy right so it's very important gem when was it launched gem what is the full form of gem that you have to know because this is asked in the earlier exam of nabard so there is a chance it will be asked again please mark it question mark this question as correct uh, not correct as star theek hai very important this is green gold collection is related to bamboo products this has been launched in collaboration with national bamboo mission and gem portal seed mini kit program is funded by central and state governments in which of the following ratios seed mini kit program has this funding and the ratio is 100 is to 0 what you usually do is that whenever ratio is there you go for 60 is to 40 that probably it will be a, a central uh, sponsored scheme so central gives center gives 60% and the share by state is 40 but this is a complete central uh, scheme wherein complete amount is given by central government right National Medicinal Plant Board and CSIR have signed an MOU to boost the cultivation and production of medicinal plants and herbs in India. So NMPB and CSIR dash have signed. Who is this? Come on. I'll wait for your answers. Thank you so much for excusing me. The answer is National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow. So NBRI and M N N N M P B and N B R I have come together for the production of medicinal plants and herbs. It's in Lucknow. Where is N B R I located? This also you have to know. It's in Lucknow. Each arak portal is developed by which of the following board or institutions? So each arak. is what this also you have to know and it has been developed by national medicinal plant board and cdac center for development of advanced computing so these two to get together have launched e charak charak stands for channel for herbs aromatic raw material and knowledge very important this is again charak what is the acronym charak stands for the portal is for which, which purpose the portal has been developed by which board or institution all these are again the aspects so not only nmpb but cdac because nmpb you know they have the specialization in plant technology they did not have the technology of portal to agar book had, there was a book to be launched on charak this uh, herbs aromatic material and all then uh, nmpb would have done because they it, it was to be a portal so they needed the help they needed technical aid that was provided by cdac right the union cabinet in the month of july 2021 has approved a proposal of the department of agriculture cooperation and farmers welfare to make the post of chairman in which of the following commodity boards as non executive one we are moving to the july questions now very important questions so this post is going to be non executive the post is from coconut development board right can you tell when is uh, the coconut day observed world coconut day observed anyone please answer in the comments i won't wait now because we are in a flow right so find out the world coconut day and mention in the comments please moving to next question comments of the video not in chat right now right i'm taking you to question 48 scientists from institute of life sciences have established an animal challenge study platform to conduct vaccine and drug trials for covid-19 in animals with reference to this platform which of the following statements is or are correct so institute of life sciences uh they have come up with this vaccine and drug trials in 
कोविड नाइन्टीन ड्रग ट्रायल्स इन एनिमल्स सम लायन्स इन वेरियस झूज ऑफ आर ऑफ द वेरियस कंट्रीज रिपोर्टेड टू बी कोविड पॉजिटिव सो दॅट्स वाय इट वॉज स्टार्टेड राईट सो ऑप्शन्स थ्री स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन सच क्वेश्चन्स हॅव बीन आस्ड लाईक स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन्स हॅव बीन आस्ड इन द पेपर ऑफ आर बी आय दिस टाईम सो वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दे माईट बी अपिअरिंग इन दी नाबार्ड एक्झामिनेशन सच क्वेश्चन सो वी शुड बी प्रिपेअर्ड सो लेट मी जस्ट रीड प्लॅटफॉर्म हॅज बीन इस्टॅब्लिश्ड विथ द सपोर्ट ऑफ बिराक प्लॅटफॉर्म इज इस्टॅब्लिश्ड अंडर मिशन कोविड सुरक्षा इथ हॅज अन एस्टिमेटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व करोर अगेन द आन्सर वुड बी ऑल सो बिराक कोविड सुरक्षा ट्वेल्व करोर यू हॅव टू रिमेंबर दीज थ्री थिंग्स प्लीज डू बिराक कोविड सुरक्षा प्लस ट्वेल्व करोर ओके जी विल दॅट बी फाईन Will you remember this? ILS, Institute of Life Sciences. Easy to remember. What is the purpose to conduct the vaccine and drug trials in animals for COVID-19? Moving. to next question under price support uh, scheme procurement approval was accorded for 104.2 uh, metric ton uh, lmt of pulse and oil seeds for a kharif marketing season 2021 and uh, rms 21 and summer season 21 for which of the following states han ji all these states are the true answer so for all these states under the price support scheme procurement approval has been accorded which of the following plants new species named as ergostema quarantina have been discovered by scientists at the wagemon hills along iduki kottayam border in kerala so a new species has been uh, discovered in kerala the species is of coffee tea potato rice barley so this again you can answer very easily not necessarily like you have to just know everything but still try to answer it coffee that's right coffee is anyhow uh, kerala is known for its coffee ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare has opened new center of national horticulture board at which of the following places so new center nhb we have read right established on the recommendations of ms swaminathan committee in the year 1984 which is headquartered in pusa new delhi we covered this right so new center is going to be set up in ranchi lucknow bhopal pune or gwalior very nice shreya has answered the first one to answer Krishna is also right Aarti is right Sangeeta right Arpita Kavya nahi Bhopal is not the right answer Gwalior is okay Kirtana many many students have answered correctly some of you are confused because madhya pradesh is twice so some of you have chosen bhopal also guys gwalior is the answer please remember theek hai not bhopal do not mark it wrong here that's okay completely fine we are doing the revision in examination if this question comes it has to be correct okay promise me this that you will revise such things revision is important guys let me tell you this you have to sit and revise the pdfs again right we have brought this lecture series but you should revise moving forward chale fir brinda has also also answered correctly very nice moving to next question apda exported which variety of wheat to kenya and sri lanka from gujarat so which variety of wheat has been exported recently सिहोर लोकवान पूर्णा भालियार मलवराज थँक यू थँक यू लवली स्टुडंट्स हिअर आन्सर इज भालिया आय थिंक दॅट्स राईट सो एपिडा हॅज एक्सपोर्टेड द भालिया वरायटी टू किनिया अँड श्रीलंका नाव अगेन द क्वेश्चन कॅन वी दॅट भालिया वरायटी हॅज बीन एक्सपोर्टेड टू विच टू प्लेसेस किनिया अँड 
श्री लंका इजी राइट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑर्डर इशूड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड एंड कंज्यूमर अफेयर्स व्हिच इज वैलिड टिल थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर रिटेलर्स कैन कीप विद देम मैक्सिमम डैश टन ऑफ ऑल पल्सेस ऑप्शन टू राइट फाइव टन ऑफ पल्सेस कैन बी केप्ट विद रिटेलर्स दिस इज वॉट गिवन पी डी एफ विल बी अपलोडेड डू नॉट वरी ज्वाइन अ टेलीग्राम चैनल बाई टूमोरो गेट द पी डी एफ ठीक है With reference to recently launched Assam Tea Industries Special Incentive Scheme (ATICS) 2020, which of the following statements is or are correct? Uh, there are again statements given. Let me read them out for you. Under this, the state government will provide an interest subvention of three percent per annum on working capital loan. Is it true? Do you know it? Let's read too. State government will provide a subsidy of rupees seven per kg. Uh, for production of orthodox and specialty varieties government will provide 25% subsidy for the purchase of new machinery for the production of orthodox and specialty tea would be given so all three statements are somewhere having facts right the figures are given so if you in such a question if you do not know the answer here it is not as advised to take a risk why Because there is nothing that you can answer based on your understanding. You have to know. Either you know it, it is three percent. You have read it, or you haven't read. Okay. So what would be the answer here? Hanji, kya rehega? Option four, A, B, and C. All three are correct. रिगार्डिंग आरटीसी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी असम टी इंडस्ट्री स्पेशल इंसेंटिव स्कीम तो असम टी तो आई थिंक दोज ऑफ यू हुआ टी लवर्स माइट वी लविंग असम टी एटलीस्ट आई लव असम टी सो आई विल ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दिस ठीक है फॉर लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन कम्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन चलिए के वी आई सी खादी एंड विलेज इंडस्ट्रीज कमीशन हैज इनिशिएटेड अ प्रोजेक्ट नेम्ड बोल्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स काइंड एक्सरसाइज इन इंडिया वट डज दी स्टैंड फॉर इन बोल्ड हाँ जी लवली स्टूडेंट्स वॉट वुड बी दंसर कम ऑन के वी आई सी आई होप दैट वी ऑल नो दैट के वी आई सी स्टैंड फॉर वॉट राइट इट्स के वी आई सी इज ऑल्सो कम अप विद अ पेंट खादी पेंट दैट ऑल्सो विल कवर आगे ओके सो द प्रोजेक्ट बोल्ड हैज बीन लॉन्च डी स्टैंड फॉर ड्रॉट राइट इट हैज बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द ट्राइबल विलेज निचला मंडवाइन उदयपुर सो बोल्ड कैन एनी वन टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म क्विकली डी आई हैव टोल्ड यू आई वॉन्ट यू टू टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म बोल्ड ऑफ के वी आई सी वॉट इज इट प्रोजेक्ट बोल्ड बाय के वी आई सी सो इट्स बैम्बू ऑयस इज ऑन लैंड एंड ड्रॉट राइट वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस हैप्पी टू सी द राइट आंसर पोरिंग इन फ्रॉम विच स्टेट हैज इट बिन स्टार्टेड यू हैव टू नो इट फ्रॉम विच प्लेस एग्जैक्टली विच सिटी दैट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू नो इट राइट Recently, which of the following institutes has developed an anti-methanogenic feed supplement, Harit Dhara? So, Harit Dhara, Dhara is the uh, dharti, right? Earth, Harit Dhara. This is a uh, metho anti-methanogenic uh, feed supplement. It has been developed by ICAR, Indian Council of Agricultural Research. Very nice, very nice. Glad to see the right answers coming in. so harit dhara is also important you can mark this also as right because see the like paddy is considered that it uh, gives out methane right so these agri products there is carbon dioxide release uh, released this uh, what is it called green uh, greenhouse effect due to agriculture produce also right due to the process so harit dhara becomes important when we talk about sustainable agriculture right so which of the following universities experts have undertaken a project to identify native grasses and trees palatable for elephants and standardize mass multiplication techniques han ji what is the answer t 
टीएन एयू कोयम्बतोर तमिलनाड एग्रीकल्चरल यूनिवर्सिटी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल रिसोर्च एक्सेट्रा सो नेटिव ग्रासेस एंड ट्रीज टू बी मेड पैरेटेबल फॉर एलिफेंट्स दिस इज अ यूनिक प्रोजेक्ट विच इज बिन टेकन बाई कोयम्बतूर ओके जी टेकिंग यू टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल शिपमेंट ऑफ मिश्री वराइटी ऑफ चेरीज हैज बीन एक्सपोर्टेड टू डैश फ्रॉम श्रीनगर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैव बीन एक्सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम वेयर टू वेयर एंड वॉट इज द वेराइटी दिस इज द ब्रॉड थिंग्स यू हैव टू नो तो मिश्री वराइटी हैज बीन एक्सपोर्टेड टू दुबई यूनाइटेड अरब अरब एमिरेट्स मिश्री इज अ वेराइटी ऑफ चेरीज मिश्री इज स्वीट सो दिस वेराइटी सेंट टू दुबई According to United Planters Association of South India, tea imports increased by what percent in January March 2021 compared with the year earlier in 2019? Guys, this is also important. The data here in question I have mentioned so as to make you clear that this tea imports have increased is the data was shared by Upasi United Planters Association. But it's not necessary that is given in the, that it will be given in the examination. ठीक है? तो even if it comes and there is no such thing given, you go with the answer 139 percent. Be smart while answering questions in the paper. Okay? Which of the following university has organized an international webinar on रोड मैप फॉर द प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ डॉग मीडिएटेड रेबीज सो रेबीज इज अ डिजीज विच इज स्प्रेड इफ अ डॉग बाइट्स एंड ह्यूम द डॉग इज इन्फेक्टेड विद रेबीज द डॉग इज कंसिडर टू बी नॉट इन गुड हेल्थ मेंटल हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल हेल्थ राइट द डॉग हिमसेल्फ डाइज एंड द रेबीज इज ट्रांसफर टू द पर्सन राइट so uh, this uh, international webinar basically as we have eradicated polio we also want to eradicate rabies right so this road map for the prevention and control uh, has been the webinar has been taken by kerala veterinary veterinary and animal sciences university i am surprised people no answers every answer is being like almost everything is answered correctly hai na very nice very nice हरी भंगा वैरायटी ऑफ मैंगो वॉज एन न्यूज इट इज ग्रोन इन विच कंट्री चलो जी बताओ अंशु हैज गिवन अस एन एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन दैट गोवा इज द फर्स्ट रिबाइज फ्री स्टेट इन इंडिया दैट्स राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर द वैल्यू एडिशन गोवा फर्स्ट रिबाइज फ्री स्टेट दिस इज राइट दिस कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन फॉर योर जी ए पार्ट ऑल्सो ठीक है ओके कमिंग टू हरी भंगा वैरायटी हरी भंगा वैरायटी इज ग्रोन इन नॉट इन इंडिया बांग्लादेश सो बांग्लादेश इज रंगपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इज नोन फॉर इट्स हरी भंग वैरायटी एक्चुअली दिस वैरायटी वाज सेंट बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ बांग्लादेश टू आई थिंक इंडिया प्रेसिडेंट as far as i remember like they came as a gift a lot of uh, tons of mangoes came as gift from bangladesh to india so that's why this hari bhanga variety is very famous considered it's very uh, good in quality that was sent chalo next question regarding matsya setu very important again so which of the following statements is or are correct regarding the online course mobile app matsya setu so it has been developed by icar sifa Sifa is Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture, Bhubaneswar. Funding support for the app is provided by NFD, NFDB Hyderabad. Online course app aims to disseminate the latest freshwater aquaculture technologies to aqua farmers in the country. So option C, though, is gonna be definitely right. Hey na, what else can you answer? All. ठीक है बिल्कुल सो सीफा भुवनेश्वर डेवलप्ड इट फंडेड बाय एन एफ डी बी हैदराबाद सो सी सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ भुवनेश्वर डेवलप्ड इट द मनी वाज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द नेशनल फिशरीज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हैदराबाद एंड फॉर व्हाट पर्पस मत्स्य सेतु इज अ काइंड ऑफ मत्स्य फिश सो ब्रिज बिटवीन द एग्रीक एक्वाकल्चर टेक्नोलॉजीज to the farmers so the kind of bridge has been developed so that they can get to know the new technologies that are being developed theek hai 
आ गया जी खादी प्राकृतिक पेंट इफ यू हैव बिन विद मी इन द लेक्चर यू नो आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द के वी आई सी पेंट सो खादी प्राकृतिक पेंट आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट आंसर इट इज इंडिया फर्स्ट एंड ओनली पेंट मेड फ्रॉम काउडंग ओके बहुत अच्छी चीज की है नेशनल कमीशन ऑन कैटल हैज बीन बिहाइंड द सक्सेसफुल रिसर्च पेंट इज लॉन्च विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग इनकम ऑफ फार्मर्स एंड क्रिएटिंग क्रिएटिंग सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट तो जी ए एंड सी आर द राइट आंसर्स टू द क्वेश्चन खादी प्राकृतिक पेंट के वी आई सी इज बिहाइंड इट फर्स्ट एंड ओनली पेंट मेड फ्रॉम काउ डंग सो अगेन द डंग ऑफ द काउ शुड नॉट गो वेस्ट द फार्मर्स हु आर हैविंग द काउज दे मस्ट बी एबल टू गेट एन एडिशनल इनकम भाई उनका इनकम वी नीड टू डबल बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू राइट I hope you remember. I hope you did not forget this vada done by our government, guys. You should not forget any vada done by our government. You are the youth of our country, right? So remember it, and self-employment will also be developed. Okay. In which of the following states the monk fruit from China was introduced for field trials? So monk fruit has come uh, from which country? This also you have to know. I'll mark a star on China. राइट वेरी नाइस तो खादी प्राकृतिक पेंट के जो ब्रांड एम्बेसडर हैं नितिन गडकरी जी हैं रोडवेज वाले मिनिस्टर उनको बना दिया एम्बेसडर अच्छा चलो कोई बात नहीं इस क्वेश्चन प्लीज आंसर दिस मंक फ्रूट फ्रॉम चाइना द स्टेट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश सो इट हैज कम फॉर द फील्ड ट्रायल्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश with which of the following uh, apda has signed an mou to facilitate the registered exporters to get assistance under various government schemes and help cooperatives to sell their products globally and also build their capacities this is easy agriculture produce uh, development authority export development authority अच्छा संगीता हैज क्लैरिफाइड के के से रिलेटेड हैं एम एस एम ई मिनिस्ट्री और वो एम एस एम ई मिनिस्टर हैं नितिन गडकरी जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द इन्फॉर्मेशन गाइज आप लोगों को याद रहना चाहिए आई ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज दैट दैट यू शुड बी एबल टू रिमेंबर रिकॉल एंड मार्क द करेक्ट आंसर इन दी पेपर ठीक है जी तो ए पीडा हैज साइंड एन एम ओ यू विद आवर फेवरेट नेफेड नेफेड इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बॉडी दैट इज प्लेइंग इंपॉर्टेंट रोल तो रजिस्टर्ड एक्सपोर्टर्स आर गोइंग टू गेट दे विल हेल्प द फार्मर्स फॉर वॉट बिल्डिंग कैपेसिटीज रबर रिसोर्च इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया हैज अचीव्ड अ सिग्निफिकेंट ब्रेक थ्रू बाई डिकॉर्डिंग द एंटायर जिनॉम ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर इंडियन हाइब्रिड रबर क्लोन डैश Guys, we are happily near to the end of our lecture. You know, like not exactly now, but we have covered. a chunk of the one third is just left we have covered all the questions very nice such lovely students who have been answering so option 2 rr2105 this is the rubber clone hybrid rubber clone of indian variety rubber research of institute of india has achieved the breakthrough by the enorm uh, uh, by the uh, genome sequencing basically they have decoded the entire genome its headquarters is in kerala rubber research institute that's absolutely right someone has mentioned even kottayam okay that's right so kerala it has this rubber research institute indian hybrid rubber clone developed rr2105 which of the following state government has selected kasava in the odop approach in two of its district here answer would be kerala Which of the following GI tagged mango variety from Malda district of West Bengal has been exported to Bahrain? So Malda is also known as the mango city of India. Let me tell you. If this comes into like your static GA part uh, of twenty marks somewhere, static GA two three questions might be asked. So mango city is Malda of India. Few other cities are also called as mango cities, but what authentically I could found is this Malda only, right? So, uh, what is the answer? Zardalu is it? No, answer is Fazil. Option four. So this has been exported to Bahrain. 
APDA in collaboration with FPOs, traders, exporters, agri scientists, UP government and other institutions organized a meet in which city. So again, this is the recently in the month of July, APDA organized this meeting in which all the stakeholders related to the agri development were involved. Uh, the city is Varanasi. Now see, all UP cities are given. So uh, that's why, because in the question it was given that which you with like UP government. While in the paper they can also ask that uh, APDA has recently organized this meeting in which state. So you have to know Uttar Pradesh is the answer, and if city is asked, Varanasi would be there, right? National Fish Farmers Day is observed on which day? The June first, we have done World Milk Day. Tha. National Fish Farmers. This is national. Yes. Why are you guys worried about PDF? It will be there by tomorrow morning. Uh, you will get the PDF on our Telegram channel. If you are the member of our course, it will be uploaded in the course also, and it will be there on Telegram also. Do not worry. About the PDF. TK G. Any other queries I'll take after the class. We are on 70th question. 20 more questions, guys. I know it's dinner time. Let's wind up quickly. TK. Uh, okay. Protein BBX32 was in news. It helps provide leads to which of the following activities in plant to control the timing of seedling emergence, maximize proper seedling establishment to control the flowering in plant. 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. Hanji. 1 and 2 is the right answer. So, BBX32 is a protein and it helps to control the timing of seedling and maximize the proper seedling establishment. Theek hai ji? Is that fine? 1 and 2. Recently, uh, this was in news in the month of July. Since the last several decades, NABAD have been striving for the upliftment of the agri and rural communities through various measures. Which of the following measures taken by NABAD are for the agri and rural development? Guys, here the answer would be, let me tell you all of the above. I won't read everything for you. You read it. I'll just tell you the gist that in the budget of recent year, rupees 16 lakh crore lending target has been set up for the rural and agri community. NABAD is actually implementing this, uh, the, the role is being uh, implemented by NABAD. NABAD also implemented the newly uh, launched FPOs. It has sanctioned 1700 crore to 3000 PSEs for setting up centers. So basically NABAD has been doing a lot of things. What are the different initiatives you can read here, right? Uh, the special role, the instrumental role it plays in the agri and rural development. So this was easy. TK, I would suggest you to mark these figures and remember them. Uh, during current Rabi marketing season 21-22, a record quantity of 56.41 lakh metric tons wheat was procured from 12.98 lakh farmers at MSP in which of the following state has the highest ever procurement of wheat in the history of the state. A history of the state or India. UP is the answer, right? Highest ever procurement of wheat from this state actually. Achha, from the history of the state means uh, the procurement from this particular state, right? Telegram group na a description of the video you will get, right? Shiva Reddy, do not worry, the agri horticulture crop wise data, production data, everything will be taken care by Veena ma'am. She has taken your yesterday's lecture. She is also going to take up your tomorrow's lecture. So do join her class to know all the statistics. Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine under the CSIR is a premier institute located in which state? Maharashtra, UP, MP, Ladakh, Jammu, Kashmir. Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine is located in J&K. Please remember Jammu Kashmir National Research Center on Dash has tied up with National Insurance Company Limited for ensuring their livestock. Hanji. National Research Center on Dash has collaborated 
a further insurance of their livestock with a national insurance company so this livestock is yak so this is very interesting again very very important national research center on yak is going actually to insure their livestock very nice arpit kavya gautam shrinivas arti shweta everyone knows the answer theek hai it's in arunachal pradesh nrc on yak is in arunachal pradesh that is what a student has informed me here in the session very nice and they are going to insure their livestock insurance would be done so insurance penetration even in livestock is going india needs to increase the insurance penetration this we know it's less than 5% currently but for livestock also it is being spread very nice okay ji india has discovered a new plant species bryum bharat in is bharatiensis since the launch of its first research station in the dash continent so uh, guys india's research station is in antarctica since the launch of this station the first time a new plant species has been declared it's big the news is very big okay uh i think it's been four decades that we have set up our research station in antarctica and now finally for the first time we have been able to develop or discover a new uh, not develop discover a plant species right the name is bryum bharatiensis very nice it's a species of moss that has been discovered very nice guys this is also very very important as part of mango export promotion program epida in collaboration with indian embassy and importer lulu group organized a mango promotion program in dash for the varieties from northern india dubai in dubai this uh, mango export promotion program was set up recently which of the following platforms was launched by union minister of agriculture and farmers welfare to facilitate the farmers to get right to information at right time in their desired language this is again very important why the center government it is coming from the union minister theek hai and for what purpose to provide the information to the farmers that they should the language barrier is there right we have seen that so many things will be available either in english language or in hindi language regional languages are lacking right so even if information is there it is not in the language it is not of any use to the farmers right they cannot go to someone and ask for this language uh, like what what are they saying so it is called as kisan sarthi sarthi is the one who is riding the chariot krishan ji was the sarthi of arjun in mahabharat so remember that way to provide the information krishan ji was continuously guiding arjuna so to provide the information at the right time in the desired language kisan sarthi has been launched union ministry has done done something to help the farmers right will this help you to remember it kisan sarthi very easy taking you to next question Which of the following state cabinet has approved a cattle preservation bill to ban the movement of cattle to and from the state and to stop the consumption of beef in Hindus populated and animal worshipped areas I don't want to comment anything on this question let's just know the answer the cattle preservation bill so in hindi a uh, hindu populated area and animal worshipped areas the consumption is being like stopped through this bill and this has been done by the state of assam very nice even before my like putting the completing the question i have got so many answers chalo ji chalo a few more questions from the month of august now september a uh, few days are left that do not worry we will cater to that part in the current affairs lecture one more is due like esi current affairs that is to take place on 15th usme we'll try to cover few more questions either ke theek hai Which of the following organization has signed an MOU with University of Agri Sciences Bangalore to give boost to agriculture and pro processed food products exports especially from Karnataka Epida is the right answer Arthi was the first one to answer Shubham was also the first so Epida is the right answer here 
University of Agriculture Sciences is in Bangalore. They have come up with APDA and of course they will focus in Karnataka because Bengaluru is in Karnataka. Bengaluru is which city of India? Bengaluru houses the headquarter of ISRO. So that's why it's called as Space City. Okay? Many other names are also there, like Garden City, it is also called as, but Space City. And also, it's called One More City. Anyone can answer that? It's also very famous. Garden City, I've told, Space City be done here. Silicon City, a Silicon Valley, that's right. Electronic City is an area in Bangalore itself. So, Electronic City of India, Silicon Valley of India, that's right. As per the fourth advanced estimates of the production of major agri crops that was released, estimated production of food grains during 2021 is dash. Guys, such a question. Latest estimates that have been released, this, such questions have been asked so many times in the examination. So all the latest advanced production data will be discussed with you in the lecture, in the upcoming lecture, but mark this. Okay. Very important this is. The answer is 308.65 million tons. This is as per the fourth estimates. Your paper is in the month of September. The latest data available or released is in the month of August. So latest it is. Right? Okay. BSE's electronic spot platform. So, uh, BSE's electronic spot Spot platform for agri commodities has joined hands with Dash in a bid to strengthen the price discovery mechanism of the commodities traded by FPOs. So, with whom BSE's electronic spot platform has uh, shaken hands or joined hands? Foundation for development of rural value chain. So, it's easy to remember rural value chain. The development foundation is there with BSC for FPO's development, right? Anyone needs a break? Or are we fine? Are we going fine? Great, chalo. Okay, just few more questions, we'll be winding up the lecture. Thank you so much. Tribal Cooperative Marketing Federation of India, TRIFED has celebrated its Dash Day in August 2021. So, Tribal uh, Federation or TRIFED, I would say, is very important because it is related to the tribal. Tribals are a very important uh, section for your examination. NABAD loves the initiatives which have been taken for tribal people, apart from farmers, of course. So, uh, this foundation day was recently observed. Thirty fourth edition. A typical question, difficult one, not easy to remember, but now you will not forget it. Right? According to data released by Agri Ministry, the area under Kharif crops almost top dash, a uh, lower, a tad lower than the area covered in the same period. So, the Kharif crops area decreased in the last year. Uh, in this year, 1,000 lakh hectares. APDA, in collaboration with HP Horticulture Produce Marketing, exported its first consignment comprising of five unique varieties to Bahar. In this, we have covered in some other form, right? Uh, that uh, from apples are going to be transported. We have covered this, I think. So again, that APDA has collaborated with Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh is known for its apples, right? So, uh, like it's a state which is known for its apples. To all the nearby, nearby, nearby states, it is sent, right? Chaliye. As per the government statement, BRICS nations have pitched for closer ties in strengthening DASH to ensure food and nutrition security. Again, this is important. Achha, that was mango, not apple. Theek hai. So, HP ne collaborate kiya hai for apple transportation also. BRICS stands for what? Brazil, Russia, 
इंडिया चाइना साउथ अफ्रीका वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रीजनल ग्रुप फॉर इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन ब्रिक्स हैज दिस न्यू डेवलपमेंट बैंक आल्सो एनडीबी राइट सो ब्रिक्स हैज पिस्ट दैट द क्लोजर टाइज शुड बी देयर सो दैट व्हाट कैन बी डन एग्रो बायोडाइवर्सिटी कैन बी स्ट्रेंथंड राइट Which of the following has organized a special webinar on its aroma mission to strengthen Azadi ka Amrut Mahotsav? Azadi ka Amrut Mahotsav, Amrut it is also being called as it is very important. This year we have celebrated our landmark year. Prime Minister Modi in his speech on 15th August mentioned this Azadi ka Amrut Mahotsav. We are celebrating many target years have been set uh, in this year. So aroma mission webinar uh, was organized. by cs ir very nice very nice union minister of women and child development smriti irani has launched second phase of samvad program in bengaluru what does s stands for in samvad acronym guys samvad stands for support advocacy mental health interventions for children in vulnerable circumstances and distress this has been launched by women and child development minister smriti ji from the name itself you can understand that it is to provide the support mental health support advocacy should be there for the vulnerable section people who are in distress people who are vulnerable women destitute women old age people might also be that children's so all these are going to be helped right support what is uh, support is the acronym s and what is samvad this also you have to know with which ministry it is associated that also you have to know right चलिए विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज ज्वाइंट हैंड्स विद सी डब्ल्यू सी टू प्रोवाइड बेटर स्टोरेज फैसिलिटीज तो सी डब्ल्यू सी हैज ज्वाइंट हैंड्स विद अवर लवली बॉडी नाबार्ड राइट सो वी ऑल आर प्रिपेयरिंग यू ऑल आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नाबार्ड वी आर सेटिंग योर एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट नाबार्ड एग्जामिनेशन डू नॉट फर्गेट दैट सेंट्रल वेयर हाउसिंग कोलेबोरेशन हैज A corporation has collaborated with NABARD so that better storage facilities can be set up. No, it's not FCI. It's NABARD. Please. Ha, FCI. You might think because FCI is the body which is ultimately responsible for delivering the 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 food. The what is it called? Not food. The crops, agri uh, agri produce, which is there like wheat. Uh, pulses etc to the needy people under your pds scheme fci is there but this has been signed with nabard chalo ji we are near the end of our lecture theek hai uh, ifco has tied up with which institution to do joint research on agri technological projects and promise and promote precision farming to ifco is fertilizer cooperative indian farmer fertilizer limited has signed with an mou or agreement for precision farming with iit delhi right so very important this was also and with this i am announcing the end of this particular class i hope you found the session helpful helpful if you did mention in the comments what did you like and uh, i think that would be it guys uh few more lectures are left today we have shared the schedule with you uh, these are the super marathon sessions this will be going on till 15th of september right every day like 7 pm we are there for current affairs part and static uh, lectures of quant and reasoning are being taken at 3 pm by vd sir right so that's it thank you so much for your patience and uh, i hope it was helpful to you i hope you are able to utilize all these revision lectures in your examination may you clear the exam and then we are here to help you for your phase 2 right thank you so much guys have your dinner aram se have your dinner on time take care of your health before the examination do not skip food do not skip sleep be healthy be happy prepare well be calm very important theek hai For any query, drop us a mail at hello at edutab dot co dot in. I will be here for few minutes to take up the queries. So if you have queries, post them here. I'll take those up. 
and if you do not have queries you are free to go have your dinner aram se then do your studies okay please uh yes that will be it from my end acha is this cd sufficient for current affairs for, for agriculture see what i would suggest is that uh these series of course they are very very important they are going to help you but i cannot claim that everything is covered see because of course we have provided so many things in our courses so the, if you have been covering those it will be not feasible for us to cover everything in a span of let's say 15 hours or 20 hours but we are trying to provide the best of things in these lectures theek hai ji source puch rahe hain vasu ji to vasu sources like all these we are tracking important sources your newspapers your websites of the government for current affairs right so we are preparing these questions for you theek hai september current affairs it is advice that you should read at least till like from september 1 7 don't worry we will cater to these dates for agriculture ga and esi in your sessions upcoming ones theek hai adarsh nayar uh, i think uh, niti uh, this 5 uh, minute series suggestion now you are coming up with uh, we are done with our 5 minute series now right so whatever there are you please uh, refer to them theek hai Uh, do not worry jo session hai sensors reports etc tomorrow is the session with veena ma'am please take her session she she is a lovely teacher she has been teaching so many concepts of agriculture to you guys i hope you enjoy her session also kal ka session wo lengi and uh, uh aap log kal join them nikhil ji strategy sessions of deepak sir acha uh, drop a mail to get in touch with deepak sir he'll provide you if you need to talk he'll reply over mail or you can get in touch with him right ji telegram group jo hai wo link uh, is video ke description mein is provided at the end the telegram group is there the link is there you go and join that link theek hai i have told about the telegram group i feel that there are no other queries so let me just wind up the session Thank you bye bye take care and uh, I'll see you soon uh, please enjoy the sessions take maximum benefit of these sessions drop us a mail for any query drop a comment below if you like the session thank you bye bye